All right, so we made it down to the 200 foot level of the White Eagle Mine. Looking across the shaft, you can see a drift. Looks like the ore cart rail's been off to the right. And right behind me is the other drift. And inside is a really neat piece of mining equipment. This right here is a Sturdevant air blower. And this would blow air into the ven ventilation tubes and provide fresh air for the mine. Look at that. It says B.S. Sturdevant, Boston, Massachusetts. It's a number five model. Looks like this was run off of electricity. You can see a power box right there. And I'm standing on, um, I guess, the where they would mount it. That's a piece of ventilation tubing. And this is the other half of the blower. It's awesome. I believe this is the intake and the high pressure air would come out this end. And right by my foot is the lid to a human carbide can. Pretty cool. And it's really cool that it's um, this deep in a mine. I just think that they would put it on the surface, but apparently not. And by the way, this thing is massive. This is my shoe right there. This is all one solid piece of metal. All right, so now it's time to go explore the drift beyond the, the air blower. All right, here's the piece of the blower. Let's go check out this drift. You can see a, there's a boot right here. That's pretty neat. Hmm. Not sure how old this is. Lots of grease on those rags. Check out this miners graffiti. Jack Robinson, 1935. There's a 1920 date right there too. Awesome. It says out that way. All this miners graffiti is really cool. Yeah, there's some neat, I mean, it's basically just like numbers and stuff over here. But there's okay. some names and uh, where is it? it says King. Yeah. All right, does that just face out? Mm, I haven't been down that. It, I think there's two drifts off of it, and then yeah, it does all these in. All right. Check out the old Ever Ready battery. Got the like, cat jumping through the nine. How old are these? Uh, I mean, probably from like the 80s or the 90s, hmm. but they don't make them. Ever Ready doesn't make batteries that look like that anymore. Yeah. I'm gonna go check out the sound. Okay, here. I'll I'll be down this other one over here. All right. It just it it faces off at the end there. There's some more newspaper. I don't know if I'll be able to find a date on it, but I'm gonna guess that it's late 1940s, like the other one. And looks like that's the face right there. All right, back to that junction. short rays up there and it turns off to the right. Some cool gobbing on the left hand side. I'm keeping an eye on the air meter for these lower levels. So looking good. Alright well it turns out this drift was a bit neater than uh, we thought it was originally going to be. You can see there's some really interesting crystals growing out of the, the rib of the mine right here. They're like fibrous. 
like little hairs. Super weird. And at the face of this drift is another calling card from SoCal X. And some more pieces of newspaper. What is this? Oh, camel cigarettes. Hmm. Interesting. All right, time to head back to the the main shaft and then explore the drift that's on the other side of this one. All right, so that's the Sturdivant blower over there. Right in front of me is the main shaft. And let's go check out this drift. You can see the ore cart rails bend off to the right. There's a short pit down this way. The spout's broken, but I got this old glass. Oh, nice. One gallon. One gallon. Cool. This right here doesn't seem to go anywhere. It looks like there was a chute right there that broke open and all this debris came out. I think this is the very bottom of that giant stoke that we were in. And over here? Seems like the right place. Oh wow, there's a drift running off that way with some more chutes. I like how the chutes are numbered. Number two right here, number three beyond it. So this is where we're climbing up. No, this is just one spot, but this goes up to a neat little timbered passage here. All right, so I just climbed up these ladders alongside the ore chutes we were looking at and looks like they made part of the, the ladder out of a giant powder company box. See it says high explosives, dangerous. And behind me there's a little passageway that um, Xavier was checking out but it doesn't seem to go anywhere. So there's no way beyond that large collapse that we saw down below. Alright, so those are those ore chutes. And here's another look at this one gallon jug. And now we're going to head down this way. Alright, so we just scrambled through that section and the drift heads off this way. You can see there's a lot of mud caked on the floor. There's a raise going up to probably the 100 level. Lots of like crystals yeah, growing on the ribs and back. I'm trying to get them, maybe you could get them to come out. But they've oh, those are really cool. on everywhere that the, uh, the, the clay is sort of split there. So you get these nice little shapes with them. Oh yeah. Huh. I can't get them to come out though. It just won't focus on them. And they're super, I mean, they just crumble to dust. Yeah, they, they form like little rolls. Yeah. The crystals like curl up. That's weird. Yeah, it's super cool. Over here, they're, they're coating everything. That's a face. That's a face. This is a dead end raise. So let's go back to where Xavier's at. This is a beautiful horseshoe. Look at that ladder. This ladder looks like it's in pristine condition. You see that Coleman gas can on the ground? One second. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. That's the one that we threw down that once. It made it all the way down here. Damn. Yeah. That's funny. Okay, so this whole, I'll let you go through it first because I'm going to leave footprints and everything, but this is all... Oh. Actually, those old boot prints might be mine from the last time I was here.
Yeah, look at all of these. It's just like snow. It's gorgeous. You can hear how it really muffles everything. And this right here is the face. Yeah, look at those gorgeous crystals. All right, so that's the Coleman gas can. And now we're gonna go head up this ladder that runs alongside the chute. You can feel a bunch of cold air blowing down it. So this must connect up to the 100 level. All right, so after climbing up the ladder, we uh, broke into the stope right here. You can see there's another set of ladders right there and there's a bit of passage up there. So I'm gonna go check it out. All right, so I just climbed up this other second ladder. Xavier's making his way back down and that passageway right over there looks plugged. And this one up here apparently goes up to the 100 foot level, although it's a very tight crawl, so we're not gonna head up that way. And behind me, there's a drift. If you recall, down on the 200 level, I pointed out a winds that, I mean a raise, that went up and I said that possibly went up to the 100 foot level, but apparently it goes up to this one. And that's it right there. And up here, looks like it continues up to probably the 100 foot level, so. And there's a backfilled passageway over here. Um, yeah, it looks to be the extent of it. All right, so now we're gonna work our way back down to the, to the 200 foot level, and then we're gonna head down the main shaft to the 300 foot level. All right, so we've completed exploring the 200 foot level, and now we're gonna make our way down to the next level beyond this one. Apparently it's not exactly 100 feet down, so it's more like the 250 foot level. So I'll see you down there. All right, so we're on the 250 foot level. This is looking up the shaft. Apparently the shaft goes down at least 150 more feet. Um, but this is as far as we're going because apparently there's bad air down there. I don't know if the camera can get a, hold up. Hopefully you guys can see down the shaft. And across the shaft you can See the ventilation pipe that would have hooked up to that Sturdivant air blower. And while we're down here, let's go check out the 250 foot level. You can see there's some ore cart tallies on the wall and on the, the back of the mine, there's a bunch of these fibrous crystals. Very strange. And right here, looks like some heavy piece of equipment was mounted on here, possibly the uh, the air blower at one time. They could have had it at this level. And let's go see what's beyond it. Oh, there's a lot more of those crystals. I was trying to research these to see what they are. And I don't know, they might be some sort of like gypsum crystal or they could be uh, saltpeter, which is potassium nitrate. So. I have to take some and throw it in a fire and see what happens. <laughs> and yeah, it's very humid in here. You can see all the water collects down in this section. Okay, there's a chute right here. This probably goes up into one of the stopes below the 200 foot level. It's all clogged with rocks. But man, those crystals are just beautiful. Hopefully if they're coming out on camera, look at that. It's like hair, what the hell? So I can definitely see why there'd be bad air down on the lower levels if it's this humid down at this level. And there's another chute and another calling card. 
that's all backfill right there. And I'm guessing that this just pinches out over here. Let me confirm. Yep, that's the face. So that was the 250 foot level.